Hi and welcome. My name is Joa and we're continue Alan Wake. Okay. We Among Alice's things was a book ended the by Creator's this place. Dilemma by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Why? The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. It really looked like uh, the same. Damn. Like the evil within. The same things and that you don't understand what's happening. How he get there? How is this possible? Gas station. How? No gas station can be on this cliff. Hello? Oh, you there? Hello? Someone there? Yeah, is someone there? What is this? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Okay, uh, five. Title, the title page of the manuscript. Departure by Alan Wake. Way. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. But I was awake. <clears throat> yeah, you all, you are uh, all awake, right? Okay. Just a minute. Manuscript page, you can access them with the left by button. Okay, okay. So, this is the way that he. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Is it the way that all authors? making their books the lights up ahead were a good sign maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone nothing here okay let's go I still don't have anything I mean no flashlight no revolver Anybody there? Please! I've been in an accident! How did you get in this accident? Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident! I need help! Listen, Closet. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Oh, hell. Carl... Stucky! Please. Beat you. Non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair 
and squat. Uh, and square. What? Whoa. F5. Wake fights are taken with light. The taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. I was terrified I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it. Okay. Bye. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Stucky? It's him? And the chaser. Nice merch. Cool. Batteries. During your stay on recommend trying walking. It's the latest thing. In contestably yes. woman help let you bright fall station. Oh, man. Hello? Hello? You see the sights and keep those cholesterol levels. This man. What is he doing? fired a gun outside a shooting range and now I just killed someone or something there were no bodies they just disappeared if I was dreaming it felt real enough to make me sick eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it oh flare gun no use this one so we need to go after this yellow paint Something? No. Okay. Oh. This one. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season. Ah! Whoa. Never thought that he can do something like this. Manuscript page. Rose daydream about wait. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Okay. Let's continue. 
there is a road down there, right? And what is up there? I cannot go. Yep, that's cool. Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Okay. This way or... This way. Let's see, maybe we can find something here. Yay! Coffee thermos. And there is 100 in this game of this. That is a large amount of something together. In a place like this. Barry, Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that, not sleeping, messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Okay. Stop. So, finally his story begins. I mean, new book. Oh, nice. Which way? Let's check this one. Okay, nothing here. Now where does he stand? Hi guys. Climb up. There must be something. Alright, or well, what? Huh. This is something. Taken. The, They're taken. The taken are filled with darkness.
Ooh. That's... Who's breathing like this? <coughs> Go. No. <coughs> Who's breathing like this? It really not looks like it's his breathing. Press, I mean. Here's something interesting. No. Okay, let's run. Okay, guys, show yourself. You must be somewhere nearby. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Some other way. Okay, okay. Emergency. Twenty. There's a coffee thermos. Creepy place. Let's go up. <coughs> Is here something? With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Page. Wake I heard them before birth. I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Yep. Ooh. Very interesting way. Is here something interesting? Nope. Now there would be guys. Okay. 
That's enough. Yeah, the batteries go down very quickly. Whew. Nice. Okay. There must be something here. No? No flashlights, no... No. Nothing. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. As you listeners know, I'm a, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. It makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Yeah, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkies. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? Oh, no. Usually he comes back, but we, we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he's just too dumb for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. No. I don't have good night now. Okay, here. Lurkan. Okay. Now there's going to be a fight. Must be. Let's see, wait. At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy, or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Or maybe not. You don't know where this page is uh, going to. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the street. Belly Burster is the best with no contest. Monster Dog is second best. The famous dog is... Okay. That was great. Oh no. There is still a safe heaven. Thermos.
too much of darkness or what? Whoa! Okay, save heaven there. Another page. TV in the gas I station. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Why is it impossible? Okay. Checkpoint reached. Hi guys. Gave there would be a lot of them. What? salad, no. A man like me needs a hefty meal. That's what it is. Where? Where are they? Okay, those guys are a little bit faster. Shotgun? Cool. Okay, batteries? No, only... Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton. Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. Okay. F5. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Okay, if you say so. Oh, 
Okay. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights of the gas station alive. Yeah, they hit me a lot. Okay. Let's run. And uh, where is the checkpoint? There must be it. Checkpoint reached. Okay. I think that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Smash like if you did. Leave your comments and subscribe. See you in the next videos. Bye.